Hi, I'm Dimitris Carlato, a composition for screen area leader at the Royal College of Music, and I'm happy to introduce you to our first composition for screen online showcase. These have been challenging days due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but here at the Royal College, we've aimed to retain all of our activities. Therefore, with a little thinking outside the box, we have organized this online showcase to expose the work of our talented students, making sure that they have the opportunity of showing their composing skills. The Royal College employed lots of resources in this challenging task to make sure that both the students and you as an audience will make the most of it. I'm sure that you will appreciate the musical variety that you hear tonight. So sit down, relax and enjoy the show that you're about to watch. Hello, I'm Gianfranco Pedroli from Italy. Unfortunately, due to coronavirus, I'm currently based in Milan in my studio, as you can see. I spent my last two months finalizing all the projects for the college and for the directors I've met during the academic year. The music I decided to share for the showcase is the one I composed for the Berlin International Film Scoring Competition, where I had the pleasure to win the first prize. The music reflects all my knowledge on virtual orchestration and the research of an authentic sound thanks to the recording of a cello and a guitar. For the competition, I decided to bring up all the different styles that shape me on composition. The first part is quite emotive and intimate. This leads to an action part that features the guitar, synthesizers and hybrid orchestra. Finally, I decided to approach the ending part, including the credits, making something different by editing some cello loops and adding Ebo on guitars. I feel very honored to have had the opportunity to participate to this competition and share this with all of you. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.
Hi, my name is Rebecca Nisko, and I am from the United States. For Showcase, I decided to rescore the film Natural Attraction with visuals by Marcus Zimmerman. Throughout the film, you will see stunning visuals of all of Earth's elements coming together and playing their own part in Earth's natural destruction. And so my approach to the score was to not mimic this destruction, but instead find beauty in it. I also wanted to aid the story and message behind the film, which plays in part to all of these elements interacting with one another, and that natural destruction is necessary for life to bloom, blossom, grow, and evolve into something beautiful afterwards. Although quarantine has been difficult for everyone, I am grateful that as a composer for screen, I have had the opportunity to continue working on my music and have a creative outlet, and also have a little bit more time to dig even deeper into the message and story behind this film. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy.
Hi everyone, this is Dennis Chuck, and you'll be hearing my London theme, which is a track from my little album New Horizon, um, all based on the theme I wrote for the New Horizon art car project featuring this um, amazing 1960s BMW E3 model. So uh, that was initially written for uh, to be showcased on exhibitions, but this track particularly was also inspired by uh, my time here in London. So uh, we're really lucky to uh, record a live string ensemble for this one still this year at the Royal College. And I've also recorded my solo saxophonist Grace MacDonald remotely in Berlin. I've merged the uh, track with visuals by Videvo, Motion Places and Simon Waldock. And yeah, I hope you enjoy London Scene. Best of times, and oh, by heck, it were the worst of times.
no, 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 Hey up, love. How are you? Morning, Dave. Come here. Give us a kiss. Oh, Dave, whilst I remember, would you mind picking up the kids tonight? I'm going to the Slug and Lace with Shelly. All right. Cheerio, Chuck. Hello, Pooch. You alright? Hey, hey, get, get, get down, lad. Right in the nose. Where was I? Wonderful of light in very, very frightening things. Bye, dear. See you later. Waking up, mate. You've been out for quite some time. <coughs> oh. You got yourself a real purdy mouth. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I tell you what, you give me some more of this nectar juice, I'll help you get out of here. Hey, what's that, Cletus? Uh, 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 uh. I think my friend likes you. <laughs> Hey, there's no need to be rude. Don't walk away. Hey! Hey! I'm talking to you, boy! You won't last five minutes around these parts. Which way do I go? Come on. Think straight. Where am I? What's that? What's that smell? Are you alright, little man? Oh, oh, run! It's coming are you... from the sky, brother! They've killed them all! Oh, They're gonna get Oi. you next, Lenny! Let's oh, run! Why are you? Behind you! Run! Stop it! Oh. Oh, no. That's awful! I need to get out of here. Which way do I go? Come on, come on, lad. Think straight. Think straight. You've had worse than this. Oh. Run! It's coming from the sky, brother! You got yourself a real purdy mouth. <laughs> Make sure you hurry home, Dave. I love you. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. So rubbish. Why did she even bother marrying me? I'm never gonna get home. <laughs> Might as well just go back and have some nectar with Cletus and his mate. Well, as much use as a worm. I'm such a failure. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day. Oh, 
I've missed you. Did you remember to pick up the kids? <gasps> Crumbs. Hi, I'm Stefano Torchio, an RCM student from uh, Turin in Italy. And the reason why I chose this short movie, Eidos, it was um, an exercise that my former teacher, Andrea Grant, gave me when I, when I was in Rome. Uh, and I decided to, to give a thematic approach to that, to give a soul to the character while, while dancing. And my creative stimuli for this uh, quarantine period was just a sense of duty. I mean, I, I knew that I had to, to work and study uh, during this period, so just it, it had to be done. So that's it. Hope you enjoy.
Hi, my name is Shar Joyner. I am a first year master's student in composition for screen at the Royal College of Music. I came across my clip, Got Your Back, because of a colleague that became one of my friends who's a choreographer that I worked with over the Christmas break of my first year. She explained to me that she actually had an idea of having many different styles of music by different people to see how people interpreted her choreography differently. And it was honestly quite enjoyable and a lot of fun to work with having my music correspond with the motion of a human body. And I feel like I learned a lot from it and it was a great experience. Hi, my name is Andy McDonnell and I'm from the UK. You're about to view my piece called Criticality, which I scored to a music video created by Maxime Corseret for the electronic artist Max Cooper. I was attracted to the film as I love the idea of electronic elements creating organic images and I hope to apply this to the way I created my composition with the lines between the electronic and the acoustic sounds blurring a little bit. I also really liked how the film took you on a journey from the microscopic to the first shoots of life and I thought this would give me the opportunity to showcase the different sides of my writing and production. As the piece was created during lockdown, all of the acoustic elements from the piano to saxophones to some guitars were recorded by myself and the orchestral elements were programmed. 
and place felt underneath the piano hammers to create a more mellow and closer sound. Use synthesizers from the Juno 106 to the Prophet and create sound design elements using computer-based synthesizers. I hope you enjoy it and thank you very much. Hello everyone and greetings from Greece and my hometown Athens. My name is Vasilis Alevizos. I am a composer from the Royal College of Music and I am delighted to show you a dear project of mine, a short film by Adam Chopper Keller and Channel 4, Diva. The idea for the film uh, came when I was actually clubbing in Soho while seeing the performance of drag icon Divina de Campo singing a classical aria on stage. Well, I thought that's it, a classical, classical aria for a drag queen on a prestigious opera stage. After Divina accepted the project, then I suggested it to Adam, uh, who created this fantastic visual language that brought such depth to the initial idea. We pitched it then to Channel 4, Random Act series, and then they accepted to fund it. Since then, Diva received awards and nominations in several international film festivals, having great success and receiving a positive response within the LGBTQ communities. 
It is a film about diversity, uh, freedom of existence, joining art forms and bringing unique people together to praise this individuality um, and to give life to ideas of peaceful and ecstatic coexistence. Uh, well, I hope you enjoy it.
kamen in die Dumm. Sieht, wo bis Kurablak entdeckt. Kum kommt aus Habe an. Hi, my name is Niklas Meicher, I'm a composer and arranger from Germany, and I'm about to graduate from RCM's Screen Composition course. Luckily, the piece you're going to hear in a second was recorded before the whole lockdown happened. Back in February, we had this huge opportunity and recorded in RCM's beautiful concert hall with an incredible orchestra consisting of fellow RCM students conducted by Matt Dunkley. Originally, the piece wasn't written against picture, but was inspired by NASA footage. So for the showcase today, I edited a video myself using some of the clips that inspired me when writing the piece. Enjoy!
in composition for school in the Royal College of Music is a very intensive course, where students have the chance of writing for several ensembles, including writing for the orchestra, and are connected with lots of other directors, visual artists, animators that are currently studying in other universities in London, such as the London Film School or the Royal College of Arts. Establishing relationships is at the core of this profession. This is why we try to create as many networking opportunities as possible. We welcome students from any musical background, reflecting the diversity that can be heard in the industry today. I believe that we composers are used to lockdowns, especially when delivering big projects, as we have to be fully immersed in our composing process. With COVID-19, the life of everyone changed, but I personally feel that it also offered to some of us the opportunity of personal growth, and why not? They also offer the opportunity of refining our musical knowledge, our skills, as the life of a musician is a never-ending learning journey. Hi, I'm Yin. I'm a screen composer from Guizhou, China. This is a score for a short animation directed by a very talented animator, Hamming Ko, and nominated for the Beckstein Classic Animation Award. It was a really interesting collaboration because I did a variation based on the famous piece Flower Duet and combined it with my own score as required by the competition. The animator used a very poetic method to express the interrelationship between various species of flowers and global climate issues. I created a hybrid score to express the harmony and integration of different cultures. I think the influence from varying cultural and musical backgrounds is the most significant stimuli for me to be creative all the time, including the lockdown period. I mean, I was immediately drawn to this film. It's stunning. It's it's kind of it's such a clear and powerful message. I think so many of us have such an issue with the anti-immigration rhetoric that we see so often on a daily basis on our screens and our newspapers and our politics. And this film just challenges that narrative in such a kind of effortless and eloquent way. Um, 
And I think that's why I was drawn to it on a personal level because it speaks about something that I feel very strongly about. Um, with the score itself, I wanted to really emphasize that feeling of tragedy and play on the emotion of the film. Um, but ultimately, I think the resounding message of the film is one of hope. So I really tried to err on the more hopeful side of melancholy um, and kind of emphasize that people can change their perspective um, and people can choose compassion over fear. I hope you enjoy the film. We'll drag the strangers into more fields and there bombast them till they stink again. And that's soon done for their spell for fear already. You'll put down strangers, kill them, cut their throats, and lead the majesty of law and Lyam to slip him like a hound. Sorry. Say now the Queen, as she is clement if the offender mourn. Should so much come too short of your great trespass, as but to banish you. Whether would you go? What country by the nature of Yara should give you harbour? Go you to France or Flanders? To any German province? To Spain or Portugal? Anywhere that not adheres to England, why? You must need to be strangers. Shall they earn more privilege than we in our own country? Marry! God forbid that! Hark, hark now! violence would not afford you an abode on earth. Wet the detested knives against your throats. Spurn you like dogs and as if God owned not nor made not you. Nor that the elements were not all appropriate to your comforts but chartered unto them. What do you think? to be thus used. This is the strangest case. And this your mountainish inhumanity.
Hi, I'm Siobhan Canellan and I'm from West Sussex in the southeast of England. The clip I have chosen to score is a sound animation by acclaimed artist Ksenia Simonova. I first came across her work several years ago and I was enchanted by the medium she was using and the abstract beauty of the stories she was telling. I was very grateful when I contacted her and she allowed me the opportunity to add an original score to one of her films. I've greatly enjoyed the experience of using music to bring her animation to life in a new way. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the film. Hello, my name is Adrien Bernardo, I'm French and I'm currently living in Geneva, Switzerland. I found the clip you are about to see thanks to a composition competition called Pannonia, organized in Budapest. I was particularly interested by the fact that I had to compose a hybrid score for orchestra and electronics, which is a type of composition that I like a lot. So I've composed a minimalistic score which aims at bringing tension but also emotion as the clip is about a man trying to avoid the border forces and find his family. So it was a real challenge to combine smoothly multiple musical genre and various emotions such as adventure, anxiety and magic in six minutes. During the lockdown I had time to think about my own emotions and reconnect with nature. Both things have been the basis of my works 
and have brought honesty and strength to my latest works. Hey guys, this is Konstantin from Leipzig, Germany, the city of Bach. And I scored the music to Julie Must Die, or as it is called in German, Julia Muss Sterben. Well, I got the job through the director, Marco Gatke. He's also from Germany and he previously asked me to score other short films of him before. And I guess this is the point why I got the job, which was quite fun and I'm happy about this because I've got the chance to record some live music. I ask some of my friends here in Leipzig who are playing an instrument in the youth orchestra of Leipzig. And yeah, I think they did a great job. So enjoy. Um, well, the creative stimuli in the lockdown time, I think it's not too complicated to explain. As you can see, I've got my piano here and some sheets, blank sheets of papers and well, I've got the time to try some plugins I've never used before. And I've, I think the most important thing in the lockdown time was you've got time. Time for things you, you usually don't do. And yeah, I think this is the most important thing why we all got some stimuli and impressions and so on. And yeah, that was the case actually. So guys, enjoy the film or the, the, the clip. It's, this is actually the last and the final scene of the film. And yes, enjoy. Lebt wohl, ihr Berge, ihr geliebten Triften, ihr traulich stillen Täler. Johanna wird nun nicht mehr auf euch wandeln. Johanna sagt euch ewig, liebe Wohl. Ihr Wiesen, die ich wässerte. Ihr Bäume, die ich gepflanzet, grünen fröhlich fort. Liebt Wohl, ihr Grotten, ihr kühlen Brunnen. Du, Echo. Heute Stimme dieses Tals, die oft mir Antwort gab auf meine Lieder. Johanna geht. Und nimmer kehrt sie wieder. Denn eine andere Herde muss ich weiden. Dort auf dem blutigen Felde der Gefahr. So ist es Geistes Ruf an mich ergangen. Mich treibt nicht eitles irdisches Verlangen, denn der zu Mosen auf des Horebs Höhen im feurigen Busch sich flammend niederließ und ihm befahl, vor Pharao zu stehen. Der stets in Hirten gnädig sich bewies, er sprach zu mir aus dieses Baumes Zweigen. Geh hin, du sollst auf Erden für mich zeugen. In raues Erd sollst du die Glieder schnüren, mit Stahl bedecken deine zarte Brust. Denn wenn im Kampf die Mutigsten verzagen, wenn Frankreichs letztes Schicksal nun sich naht, dann sollst du meine Oriflamme tragen. Errettung bringen Frankreichs Heldensöhne, Reims befreien und deinen König krönen. Ein Zeichen hat der Himmel mir verheißen. Er sendet mir den Helm, er kommt von ihm, mit Götterkraft berühret mich sein Eisen und ich durchflammt der Mut der Cherubim. Ins Kriegsgewühl hinein will es mich reißen, es treibt mich fort mit Sturmes Ungestüm. Den Feldruf hör ich mächtig zu mir dringen. Das Schlachtross steigt und die Trompeten klingen. Ach, 
interessant. Ja, Habibi. Du hattest recht. Du hattest wie immer recht. Mutter hätte es genauso gewollt. Ich war so dumm. Hakim, es ist kein Wunder, dass deine Schwester so ist, wie sie ist. Das hat sie von deiner Mutter. Was redest du da? Vor deiner Geburt war sie selbst eine Schauspielerin. Ich habe sie auf Händen getragen. Doch es wurde langsam so gefährlich. Ich habe es ihr verboten. Für die Familie, für dich. Das hat sie mir nie verziehen. War aber nicht weinen. Ich weine nicht, meine Fähigkeit. Ich weine um dich, mein Kind. Keinen Grund weiterzumachen. Weitermachen? Weitermachen. Wir alle zusammen. Vielleicht wird deine Tante ja jetzt doch noch eine Schauspielerin. Ja, auf jeden Fall. Können wir uns mal helfen? Hey, Jäger, guck mal! Wie sieht's aus? Wir sind bereit. Na dann? Drei, zwei, eins! Was ist das denn? Das da? Das ist so eine verrückte Schauspielsache. Bestimmt wieder von diesem Brecht. Hi, my name is Clemens Damerau and I'm from Germany. The film scene you're about to see is from a black and white German silent movie from 1938 called The Indian Tomb, directed by Richard Eschberg. In a film music masterclass in 2017, I had the great pleasure to write orchestral music for it, which was then recorded by the fabulous Staatskapelle Halle from Germany. I really enjoyed the overall mood in the film scene and the tension between characters, and I hope you will hear the different layers and dynamics of the music supporting the events in the scene. Now, the quarantine situation was and still is a challenge for all of us. I was working on my portfolio submissions for the college lately, and I had some other projects to work on, so there was always work to do for me, which I'm very grateful for. But I'm also taking care of myself, doing meditation, reading books, staying healthy. In these difficult times, I want to encourage everyone to go inwards and to listen to and taking care of yourself. Maybe you can find some time being creative or there is something else you always wanted to try. I wish you all the best. Thank you for listening and I hope you will enjoy the film. Thank you. 
My name is Dan Keane and I'm from the southeast of England. For this year's showcase I wanted to write a piece of music for a film that was excitable, high energy and had a really creative visual that I found captivating. And so I went to Vimeo.com and quickly found a filmmaker who's become very well known on there called Parik McLaughlin who's not only known for animation but specifically stop motion animation particularly for music videos. I got in contact with him and he very kindly gave me permission to use his film Chase to rescore which was originally a music video too. And so with this film he describes it as a journey that explores ideas of decision, choice, consequence, circumstance and time among other things. A personal perception on how we try to find whatever it is we're searching for. The film looks at objects, people and places which share common properties, our connection with one another and our environments in the very similar yet very different paths we share. And so for this score I wanted to create a hybrid approach. So I recorded live strings and drums here at home and then combined that with homemade synthesizers to create an organic homemade soundtrack. I hope you enjoy. Hi, my name is Noga Rotem. I'm a film composer and singer from Israel, and I chose to rescore the short animation Soar, directed by Alice Tsu. I was completely captivated by this film. The artwork is so beautiful, and the storyline is so sweet, and there's a moment towards the end which was purely magical for me. I won't spoil for you. And that was the moment that I knew that I wanted to work on this film. My approach for the score was to create an orchestral score combined with choir, but unfortunately because of the quarantine I couldn't record anyone, so I ended up recording myself for the entire choir, which was a lot of fun. 
And I was fortunate enough to work on this film before the lockdown, so I wasn't really affected by the quarantine. But now looking back and seeing the vast open fields that are in this film, it made me feel like I wanted to walk out and freely roam around the parks. And I hope we do that very soon. I hope you enjoy the music and the film because the film is just beautiful. Enjoy.